when working through a price negotiation in general, these two phrases are something that we want to avoid as, as best we can. The you got it. Even if someone gives us exactly what we want out of the gate, responding with, I agree, let's do it, you got it right away, unfortunately, because of human nature, will lead to, quote unquote, bad blood after the fact. That's the best way to have your counterpart walk away from the deal and go, damn it, I should have asked for more. They agreed too damn quick, and I knew it. We put ourselves in a bad spot. I never should have agreed to that, and they'll lose sleep over it, even if they've made a great deal for both sides because of the way the emotion was managed in the moment. We agreed too quickly, and we made them nervous. One of the, one of the greatest examples of this I love, when Chris was with the Joint Terrorist Task Force in New York, which has now been disbanded for reasons I won't go into, but they, did, they, they made some great cases. One of the cases that they did was two, TWA Flight 800, which at the time, there was an aspect of that investigation where they had to identify all the boats in New York Harbor of any size that were on the water at the time that Flight 800 blew up off the coast of Long Island. Now, if you could imagine New York Harbor in the summertime, and identifying every boat from like government battleships and submarines that are in that are in the Hudson, all the way down to one person kayaks, and having to identify all those boats and then talk to somebody that was on that vessel at the time that, that the plane exploded. That's a pretty big investigation. That was just an aspect of this. And so the guy who was in charge of that was right underneath Chris. And cell phones back in those days were, were a big deal. And he came to Chris and he said, right before a big press conference, he said, you guys, you, John and Tommy, who are the three big case agents, you guys are gonna get all the credit for this, right? I did a huge part of this investigation and I'm not gonna get any accolades. And so I want a cell phone, that's what I want. At the time, Chris knew he could get it he knew he'd have to jump through a bunch of hoops and you know, may even have to talk to the president, but he could make it happen. But he didn't, want to, he didn't want to fool around with this guy. And he looked at him and he said, you got it. And I, let's just call the guy Jim. I don't remember exactly what his name was. His instant reaction was, damn it. I should have asked for more than that. Even though getting a cell phone was going to be really hard, that was not indicated in Chris's demeanor. The guy didn't have to work for it. And so, it, again, it sounds manipulative. Managing the human emotion is we got to be very aware. And then the I'll try piece, I think a lot of you got to feel for this. I'll try is very similar to maybe. If we get an I'll try or maybe or we'll see response from the other side, assume that it's not going to happen. Don't, look, don't ever look at an I'll try or maybe as and maybe it'll turn into a yes because we're setting ourselves up for failure. And so if we get this response, first thing we need to be aware of is like, okay, we are in a bad spot. If they're, if they're positioning themselves or they feel like they need to waffle as their best option right now, then clearly there's something wrong with our trust. There's a, there's a, there might be a common ground issue here, but there's an unresolved, problem that has led them to 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 teeter totter so much so that should be the first thing we probably need to back up i'll try sounds like we uh, missed something sounds like we got to back up a little bit here i'll try it seems like i'm making you nervous right so that's the first thing you're probably in a bad spot you need to back up and then moving forward, you know, and also culturally, everybody's got this I'll try thing, right? In, in the Middle East, in Arabic countries, inshallah is their version of I'll try or maybe, right? In some Hispanic parts of the world, right? Latin countries, manana, 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 we'll deal with it tomorrow, right? That's another version of the same thing. So every culture's got a version of this. If we hear it, 
At the very least, we know we're in a bad spot and we got to back up and readdress some things.